Today, I only had to work half a day, so I had a decent amount of free time to do whatever I wanted, and I decided to use some of that free time taking a walk. Taking a walk was something that I used to do daily back when I lived in Sacramento and I didn't have a job, because it's a very, you know, relaxing and therapeutic process, and if you're just I don't know, it just kind of clears the head of all kinds of, like, messy thoughts and just, like, makes you makes you feel clear-headed. And if, if you're working on some kind of problem, like you're trying to write a story or you're trying to figure out how to, how to you know, what, what the answer to a question is on a homework test or something like that, take a walk. Because, like, your brain likes the idea of making progress. Like, if you take a walk, you're always moving forward and your brain will see that as like a metaphor and like will interpret that and like will give you good vibes and then it'll come up with a solution to the problem possibly. But yeah, um, I used to take daily walks, but now I don't because, um, because of work, because I got a job. Once you get a job and you're, you're working like eight hours a day and you come home, I mean like, I, I just don't want to, I don't want to exercise or walk. I just want to sit down and watch a movie or read a book or try to work on some music or work on some YouTube videos or something. Just make something. I don't know. I I, I have a limited amount of free time now, so I I don't see the time for walks. But that being said, that being said, I think that it, it it's important for me to do this. I think I'm. I think I should actually prioritize taking a walk daily because I'm currently getting close to 30 years old, and I think at around the age of 30, that's when your body starts to be like, starts to like harden into its ways, right? If you don't get into good habits before you're 30, then it's very, very hard to get into good habits afterwards. And um, basically, once you turn like 30 and onwards, your body is going to like you're going to need to keep your body up. You're going to need to keep exercising to be healthy. You're going to need to keep I don't know. You can start need to start eating healthy. Like when you're in your 20s and when you're a kid, you could eat whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You could crash into walls all day and you'd be fine and your body but your body can take it. Um but once you start getting older, then you have to start taking care of your body. And so uh, I think that taking a daily walk would probably be a good step in taking care of my body. Um but I don't know if I'm ever, I don't know if I'm ever going to do it. I just think it it would be nice if I did, and it would be a responsible thing to do. But anyways, I took a walk today, and I usually go down a set path. There's a set path that I take when I take a walk around here, and it's just like a series of roads. And on this path, there, a certain part of this path, there is this medium-sized hill that I always end up having to climb up. And for some reason... It's not that high of a hill, but for some reason, whenever I get, whenever I go up this hill, whenever I get to the top of this hill, I'm like breathing heavily or breathing slightly heavier than normal, as if like going up that hill exhausted me. And I don't like the idea of being exhausted climbing up a tiny hill. That doesn't sound like, that, that sounds like I'm actually am getting old and I, and that, that's not something I want to do yet. I don't want to get old yet. So um, uh, uh, during this particular walk, I decided to see if I could climb up the hill without getting exhausted. Because I, and I did, tried like a different walking technique than the normal walking technique. So the, the normal walking technique is to walk. You, um, you move your legs. You, you use your leg muscles primarily to uh, move around. Right? Like uh, you lean forward and you put your... your, your front leg out and then you put it down and then you lean forward again put your other leg out and then put it down and then that that's the process of walking over and over again well the technique that i tried was instead of using my legs uh, my leg muscles i used my feet so all the muscles that controlled my feet so instead of like pushing putting a leg out forward i would just push down on my toe until my body naturally started falling forward and then all I had to do was sling, swing my leg up, my other leg up slightly, and then it would just land. And uh, I think this 
other way of walking is actually slightly more efficient, using your, your toes and your feet to walk instead of using your legs. Well, I mean, it's hard to explain what I mean because obviously you are using your legs, but I think when you primarily put the focus, because it felt different to walk this way. It, I felt it more in the, the muscles that control the toes than in the muscles that control my legs. And I think it uses less energy because I was able to walk up the hill no problem, didn't get exhausted at all. So, uh, yeah, it was a good technique, and I had a good walk. And that's pretty much all I did today that was of interest. So, um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this one. Have a good life.